right, back with another one, Fresh Kicks for cheap. Dropping this one sooner than I had expected. Got 2,000 likes on that last video early. So again, if you want this series to continue, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. So for this pickup, I'm kind of piggybacking off the last deal, which was amazing. Absolutely an amazing deal. In my opinion, the best Fresh Kicks for Cheap video that I've done. If you're unfamiliar, it's all about sneakers that are $100 and under. I did the Reebok Club C for $34.99 and man, I wear that sneaker all the time. So when I saw that these were on sale from the same brand, something different, um, I went ahead and got them. Let me show you guys what I got. Like I said, we got a pair of Reeboks. First thing I'm gonna do is talk about this sneaker, the price, why I like it, and then I'm gonna talk about this model a little bit more. It's definitely a subject that I need to speak on, so two things that I'm gonna do in this video. So we've got the Reebok Classic Leather in Rusty Orange. So I went ahead and grabbed these at the price point of $59.99, and as you can see, the entire upper is this crazy orange color. It's a little bit more muted in person than you'd think. On my camera, it definitely looks like a bright, vibrant orange, but it's not really in person. It's more muted and not as in your face as say like a safety orange or like a hunting orange. It is a little bit more toned down. I know it's hard to see, through video. I'll try to do my best at showing the true color of these in the B-roll. So I saw these in person first and they caught my eye. I liked them and I didn't pull the trigger. Then I thought about it and then I found them online for the low. So I went ahead and grabbed them and I don't have any orange sneakers that I know of. I mean, I've got the shattered backboard ones, but those aren't a full orange sneaker like these are, and I think this is something cool. This is definitely a statement sneaker that you can have in your closet and just break it out whenever you want to. This entire pack was actually pretty cool. I don't know when they released. My guess would be the fall because it's an olive green sneaker and a burgundy sneaker alongside these, and those are definitely fall colors, but orange can go either way. You do have a little bit of white from Reebok logos breaking up the upper, and then the outsole is a gum bottom. A lot of times if I want a loud sneaker, I'm gonna go ahead and buy something cheap because I'm not gonna wear that all the time. Something like this is not an essential, not a staple, not a clean sneaker that you can wear every other day if you want to. You break these out pretty seldomly, in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and get a Puma Suede, that's a crazy color. I'll buy a Stan Smith, that's a crazy color. Even an Air Force One, all stuff that's under $100 if I want like an orange sneaker, or a light pink sneaker, or an all red sneaker. As far as the leather quality goes, it's your standard cheap synthetic leather, and it doesn't look terrible though. It does not look terrible. It's pretty soft to the touch. If you have a pair of Club C's or another pair of classic leathers, it's that same exact material. As far as sizing goes, these fit very true to size. So stick with your true sneaker size if you go ahead and grab these. I will link them down below. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this model, the Reebok Classic Leather. If you've been rocking with me for a little while, I did a video last year at some point talking about this model. And what happened was Champ Sports sent me a pair of these sneakers, not this colorway, it was a uh, black and white colorway that I was not feeling. Really was not feeling it. And I let it be known in the video that I was not feeling the shoe. At the time, Champ Sports had sent me like three or four sneakers and I wasn't liking any of them. So I was a little bit frustrated, honestly. I was, I was like, why are they sending me these packages of like kind of weak sneakers? So I took my frustration out on that classic leather sneaker. Honestly, before I unboxed it, I was like, you know what, unless this is something fire, I'm not gonna be too happy with it. And sure enough, it was uh, a classic leather. So I took out my frustration on it a little bit. Prior to that, I had never shown the Reebok classic leather on my channel, and here's why. When I first started working, I had a job at Dunkin' Donuts, and I was into sneakers, but I just could not afford them. Even the money I was making, I really couldn't buy Jordans or anything cool at the time. I could only afford stuff that was super marked down 
at Finish Line or Foot Locker or whatever. And because of that, my options were pretty limited. So a lot of times I would buy the all white Reebok Classic Leather. At the time, there really wasn't a whole lot of colorways. There was the all white, the all black, the all navy, and then like the navy upper and like white bottom. Nothing like this really that I remember at least. And you could get these for like 25 bucks, 30 bucks, or like two for 50 or something like that. So I had a ton of classic leathers in that all white colorway. And I was like, you know what? As soon as I get some money, as soon as I work a little bit harder, I'm not wearing classic leathers anymore. And that's what happened. And once I got a better job and was buying Jordans and Nikes and stuff that was more expensive, I never really looked back. And this is not a bad model, clearly. This is my second pair uh, that I have right now. I've got this white joint with the gum bottom that uh, Champs also sent to me. With this one, you've got the gum bottom, which breaks it up a little bit, and then the Reebok logo is done in black, and then you have more of a colorful design on the tongue. I don't like the triple white look. I know this is pretty similar, but the way it gets broken up a little bit makes it a lot better, and I've been wearing these. These things have been somewhat of a go-to for me recently, so I kind of changed my mind a little bit about the sneaker and I listened to you guys. I'm somewhat of a stubborn person. I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. But a lot of people were like, yo, like the classic leather is classic and you really should give it another shot. I do like Reebok as a brand. It's just this one model that uh, I really wasn't too into. And even at this point, I like the workout low better than this. I like the Club C better than this. And I just got a phase one pro that I'm gonna show you guys soon that I like just as much as this. This is not the best Reebok model in my opinion, but it's not bad. It is not bad and you guys were right. So I'm giving this model another shot. We'll see how much I wear these and then uh, if there's some other stuff out there that I want, maybe I'll go ahead and pick it up. But that's my little rant about this sneaker. Sorry if you had no idea about that, but a lot of people were asking me about these when I was wearing them and what happened was I listened to you guys. So of course, I gotta throw these on feet real quick, but you guys know the deal. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and want this series to continue. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all Eddie Wynn Kicks. I show a lot of my pickups there. First, let's get into that on feet and then I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.